When you're saving for retirement, want to buy a house, or just want to go on a really nice vacation, how you save your money could affect how soon you'll achieve those goals. In this episode, we're going to look at high yield savings accounts and whether they could be a good or bad choice. If you put your money into a savings account, it earns interest and grows every day. If you put it into a high yield savings account, it will grow even more. On average, a traditional savings account will have about a 0.42% interest rate. A high yield savings account will have about a 5% interest rate. That's much higher. To be precise, it's almost 10 times higher. So it sounds like a no brainer, right? Well, it depends on what you're saving for. MarketWatch reporter Zoe Han did some research into the fine print of high yield savings accounts. And what she discovered is that it could be harder to access your cash if it's sitting in a high yield savings account. Many high yield savings accounts have limits on how many withdrawals you can make a month and how much you can withdraw every time. That's because these accounts are designed to limit frequent transactions and going over the limit will result in a fee or even closure of the account. Delays and limits like this can protect your money from fraud, but it can be frustrating when you need to access your cash in a hurry. So when is it a good idea to have a high yield savings account? According to Zoe's research, these accounts can be perfect for long-term goals like building an emergency fund. Just make sure that you keep four to six weeks of expenses in a traditional savings account so you can have quick access to your cash if something happens. High yield savings account are also great if you're saving for a big goal, like purchasing a home or a car. Just make sure to speak with the bank's customer service department before you need the money, so you're aware of any limitations or delays. Understanding your options is key to reaching your goals, and if you're ever in doubt, speak to a financial advisor to figure out what's best for you. And if you need more content like this from MarketWatch and the Xplainomics playlist, make sure to subscribe and keep checking back for new videos, and we'll see you next time.